It is the legacy of beach music party for a lifetime. My name is Brett Hardy. This show, of course, started in 1974 with Steve Hardy's original beach party. 48 years later, we are still doing it. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Are you ready? It's time. The one and only, the most iconic falsetto singer of all time. I don't care what kind of music you like. This is the man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Mr. Russell Tompkins, Jr. What's happening, Russell? How you doing, sir? Oh, man, everything is happening. I'm glad to be here, and hello, folks. How you doing, man? I, you're, you're calling and joining me with the show tonight because uh, we're going to talk about you and your group, Russell Tompkins, Jr., and the new stylistics. You're going to be coming to Greenville Convention Center on July 22nd, along with Dennis yes, Edwards, uh, the Temptation Review. And I know you want to personally invite everybody out to that concert and make sure that they come out and see you sing live and see what the see what the legendary Russell Tompkins Jr. voice really sounds like live. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I like for everybody to come out and see the show cuz it's going to be a great great night. I I you know, I have certain feelings about shows and this run this one right here I know is going to be very great because you know when I left Original Stylistic, the first gig I ever done on my own, your father brought me there. Yes, sir. You're exactly right. In fact, um, you're playing, I think, either in the same building or right next door to where that building actually was. You're exactly right. So it's uh, yes. it's going to be like a surreal experience for everybody. And, um, you know, you and I have gotten to meet several times throughout the years, and, and I'm just so excited. And, and to be honest with you, I've never seen Dennis Edwards or or actually even the temptation so i'm so excited to catch that as well so well they do a great show um dennis is not with us anymore but the fellas that that uh, still are around they do a very very great show and uh they do the name temptation is proud yes sir absolutely and you know it's all about that legacy with them too and i mean it does not get any more iconic with soul music than the stylistics and the temptation so what a great night it's going to be in greenville north carolina I'm looking forward to it. No I doubt. Mean, so much. It's going to be very, very nice. I hear that it's a special dress show, too. Yeah, you, evidently it's called an all-white show, so you need to everybody dress up in the in the nicest, dressiest white outfit that they have. In fact, I'm going to have to go somewhere and get me one because I don't know if I've got one. <laughs> anymore, all right. But, uh, but it, ought, it ought to be a great night, and I know that there's, uh, there's lots of special folks that are going to be there, and uh, this station is sponsoring it, and it's going to be just an outstanding night that everybody will remember if they're a lover of soul music. And uh, you know me, I, I'm just like my dad. I'm going to be all over the world that night. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be jumping off the off the ceiling at some point. That's for sure. All right. Well, listen. Tell I'll me. Be with you. Well, listen. What have you guys been up to lately? I know that um, I know that you've been doing some recording, but um, but you've been doing some live dates at all. Oh yeah, I've been touring all over the country. Um, before I went in the hospital, I was doing uh, dates in California. I did some dates in Florida, Chicago, Detroit. Uh, Ohio, um, here in Philadelphia, and uh, I, I took a little time off. I needed about three weeks or so, three or four weeks to, to get myself together when I came out the hospital, and I took uh, exactly three weeks off, and I went to uh, England, Herefordshire. Oh, wow. And I had one of the greatest musical experiences I've ever had. I, I was singing with a 50-piece choir who sang stylistic music. And I sang the lead and had 50 people singing along with me. It was so fantastic. Oh, I bet that was awesome. Is there any video of that? I would love to see that. Well, it's being prepared. Is it really great? That is awesome. Yes. That is awesome. Well, not only doing some live dates, like you said, you've been in the studio, of course, with uh, Forevermore Records producer Christopher Beeler, um, but also um, you did a song, Say Hello, with uh, Melvin and Mervyn Steeles, who actually wrote Could It Be I'm Falling in Love with the Spinners, or by the Spinners, and uh, they uh, that was actually produced by McKinley Jackson, and wasn't that on the Mo Philly International Records label? Uh, yes, it is. Um I just finished, I was in the studio this weekend past, and I just finished one more ballad with them, and that should be out also. But I'm doing a major project with a, a, a known a producer, uh, Preston Glass, and we hopefully will get some of the songs that I'm doing with the twins uh, on Preston's album. And, of course, I'm, I have a brand-new album coming out with Chris Beeler, so I have a lot of projects, you know, a lot of irons in the fire. Yes, sir, you do. And you know what? Can I just say this right now on the air so everybody can hear 
I tell you what, man, your voice sounds as beautiful today as it ever has in my life. And I mean, I started listening to you when I was born. In fact, I'm pretty sure they played this in my nursery when I was a baby, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, seriously, for a 71 year old man, you are still killing it just like you always have from day one. And you've just got one of the very best voices that's ever been made, as far as I'm concerned. Everything is by the grace of God. Amen. Everything. You're exactly right. You're exactly right, man. And um, tell everybody about this new Stylistics medley that we just recorded and released. Um, how did that come about? A new stylistic medley. You must have been talking to Chris Beeler again. Okay. Yes, sir. In, in, in <laughs> fact, um, I hope I don't get Chris in trouble, but uh, he sent it to me, and I actually gave everybody a preview last week. I played it on here. And uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to play it again tonight when we get done talking. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah. I, I believe, uh, I don't know too much about it myself, but I knew Chris was putting something together, but uh, I have to wait to hear that myself. Well, I tell you what, I'll let you hang on, and, we, and we'll uh, we'll play in just a minute, and then we'll get finished up, and that way we can come back, and, and we can find out what your opinion is, and I already know what everybody else's opinion is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but, no, it, it, I've heard it, and basically it's three songs. It's, um, it's Stone in Love with You into You Are Everything into You Make Me Feel Brand New, and it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm not just telling you because you're talking to me. I'm telling you when I say that your voice is just unbelievable. I mean, you, you know, the magical thing is if a song or someone, it, whether it's a chord in a song or whether it's a voice or, or just a note or a part of a melody, if you get the hair standing up on your arms and your back and, and you get the goosebumps, you know what's right. And, and that's the thing. I mean, I have your whole entire library, and, you know, it, it's, it, it's just unbelievable the amount of music that you do and, and just the amount of beautiful music that you've produced throughout the years. Well, Britt, I, I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, sir. And listen, we talked. Uh, we actually did an interview a few months back when we did the Brother, My Brother song that you released. And, uh, yes. of course, that was a special song because you did that in honor of my dad and just for my dad. And I can't tell you thank you enough about all of that. But um, you shared with me on the last interview that we did that your favorite song that you ever did was Bet You By Golly Wow. I am telling everybody correct. Isn't that right? It's, it, it still is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, can, yes. I, can I follow up a question tonight with that, just so I know, just so I've got it? Is there a particular album that you recorded that was like just stood out as just a little bit more special than anything else? Well, for, for me, I think it was an album that I did um, with a producer by the name of Teddy Mendazzo. Mm-hmm. And Teddy wrote the songs for Little Anthony and the Imperials, I Think I'm Going Out of My Head, and, yes, and a couple other songs. And this album, for some strange reason, I don't play my music just to listen to it myself. I play it when I'm trying to incorporate new songs in the show and hear how I did it and which approach I should take to on the show that I'm doing. But this album, once in a while, I get the feeling that I like to play some of these songs just to hear it. And... Uh, I did two albums by him, and one was called In Fashion, and uh, the, the other one was called Love Spell. Yes, sir. And, I uh, yes, sir. I, I like remember the Love Spell. To them one. Yeah, I like to listen to them maybe once in a while. And they weren't big, you know, big hits or anything, but, you know, some personal favorites on there. Sure, sure. Well, can I ask you, what was it like working with legendary producer and songwriter Tom Bell? What was that like? Oh, it was so fantastic. You know what? That's the man who taught me how to do almost everything that I do. Um, nobody could ever produce me or or, or 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 give me instructions in the studio and teach me how to do what I've done uh, all the way up until uh, the man I'm working with right now. And I've been working with him for over 27 years, and that's Chris Beeler. Yes, sir. Um, Chris can, you know, he really knows my voice, and he really knows how to do music, you know, for myself. But Tommy Bell was the one who taught me how, you know, to be in the studio and how to approach the uh, approach a song and how to learn a new song. And uh, I hadn't talked to Tommy in a very long time. And um, about a month or two months ago, I had a chance to talk to him, and uh, he saw my, my commercial. I have a commercial on TV now for Time Life. And he saw my commercial, and he said he was proud of me. And uh, 
I haven't had a feeling like that in a long time, just to hear him say that. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, you know, again, he was associated with uh, Gamble and Huff. He was uh, he has pretty much written for some of the very best people in soul music. Not only you, but the Delphonics, the Spinners. I mean, you name it, and he worked with them. But you did four albums with them, correct, from 71 to 74? Uh, yes, I did three albums in that period, and then I came back later on in the 80s and did another album with them. Okay. But the guy that I'm working with now, Preston Glass, is his protege. Oh, wow. Okay. And I also I did an album with him in the 90s, so I'm back working with him again. And uh, being in the studio with him is how I got in contact with Tommy Bell to talk to him. Oh, that's great, man. Well, listen, I've got to brag on you and your, your band, the stylistics, as far as the history goes. And I want everybody to understand your catalog, the stylistics, recorded 20 albums from 1971 to 1985. And that is absolutely unheard of, no matter what genre of music you want to talk about. And not only that, it was it was over, I think, like five or six different record labels as well during that time. I mean, that's just unheard of. I mean, you know, most folks, they're lucky if they can get an album out every four years. And, I mean, you're talking 20 albums in 15 years. That That's that's amazing. Well, it's a, it's a, it was in a different time, <laughs> and 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 as Chris would tell you, sometimes I I, I refer to it as making shoes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, but but at the same time, I mean, to me, as far as I'm concerned, it's some of the very best music that's ever been made. I mean, it truly I, is. That 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 Philadelphia soul, whether it was on you know uh, Philadelphia International Records or or Adco or whatever. That is some of the very best music that there's ever been made, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I've been very, very fortunate to work with some of the greatest writers and producers, you know, in uh, the last 60 years. Yes, sir. And um, it's, it's, it's been a, a wonderful experience working from Tommy Bell to Burt Backrack. Oh, I know. Yes, you do, you work with him, too. In fact, you know what? I found a song I'm going to play a little bit later on uh, tonight. In fact, I told Chris Beeler I had a uh, surprise for him. He he called me right about maybe 30 minutes ago, and I, I said, I said, I've got something going on. After I talk with Russell tonight, the rest of the night is going to be nothing but Russell Tompkins Jr., Stylistics, and, and Dennis Edwards and the Temptations music for the rest of the show until 10 o'clock tonight. And um, anyway... I'm going to just, I pulled out some songs that a lot of people maybe either A, haven't ever heard, or it's been a very long time since they've heard it, but I, I've, I've got a killer just mix of, of stuff that you guys just did. And again, it stands up to the test of time as some of the very best music that there's ever been. And uh, I'll tell you what let's do, if you don't mind real quick, let's take a pause. Let's play this new medley right now for everybody, and then let's come up, come back and, and talk a little bit more about this concert coming up and uh, anything else you'd like to do. Does that sound good? That sounds great. Ladies and gentlemen, we debuted it here last Friday night on Party for a Lifetime. It always makes me so happy when I'm playing Russell Tompkins Jr. music. But this is Russell Tompkins Jr., and this is the brand-new Stylistics medley. Check it out. i 
God gave anybody a better voice. I've never heard it in my life. That is Russell Tompkins Jr. Brand new music right there with the new Stylistics 2022 medley. Russell, my goodness, man. I, I mean, your voice and your music leaves me speechless sometimes. I've cried with you. I've laughed with you. I've smiled with you. <laughs> it just brings out everything in the world. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I don't want to keep you too much longer. I got a couple of more questions I wanted to ask you real quick. What's next? Okay. For, what's next for Russell Tompkins Jr.? Well, working wise, next weekend I'll be in Bristol, PA. It's a gig that I do annually, and uh, that's going to be a very nice engagement. And uh, I'll be working some casinos in the area, and I'm on my way to Indianapolis, Chicago. And uh, I just left last weekend at the, uh, Bur- not Burks, but at the Bethesda Jazz Festival. Mm-hmm. And uh, finishing up this album. And, and uh, like I said, I'm doing a lot of recording. I'm going to finish up album with uh, Chris Beeler and finish up album with Preston Glass. And uh, just continue to try to keep making work. Watch and, it. you know, at it- my age right now, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> Well, if you can do it to the caliber that you do it, sir, you keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? As the a, as a old saying goes, go on with your bad self. But, you know, everybody needs to come to the come to the show. Yes, sir. Because they got, they got old falsetto boy to sing in them temptations, boy, that keeps me on my toes. Well, you know what? It, uh, seriously, I mean, some of the best soul music that there's ever been is going to be happening on July 22nd. And you're exactly right. Everybody needs to make sure that they come. And you know what? If you can't wear white, it will be okay. We'll, 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 we'll let you in, even though you can't, if you can't find an outfit to wear. But, but, but listen, Russell, seriously, thank you for all the years of friendship you've had with Dad, myself. Thank you for keeping the friendship going with me. Thank you for all the many years of absolutely beautiful music, love music. You know, one thing I say all the time, I always close this show similar to the way my dad always did. I always try to remind everybody to make sure you know God and Jesus. If you don't, you know, and while you're at it, try to be a good person and treat people nice. It's all about love. and Yes, indeed. And thank you. Yeah. You have literally been Every song that you do has something to do with love, and, and that is something to be so proud of. And, and, and just, I mean, beautiful music is, is something that holds the test of time. It will, it will outlive all of us, and, uh, and just everything that you do is just outstanding. And I just wanted to personally thank you for your, I mean, years and decades of music. It is just, you, everything is just outstanding. And, and just so everybody understands, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of me being able to talk with Russell tonight, the rest of this show this evening is going to be all stylistics, all Russell Tompkins Jr. songs. It's going to be a little bit of Temptations and Dennis Edwards, but we are going to pay tribute to these two wonderful, wonderful soul artists that have just pretty much changed the face of music for the rest of forever in time. And thank you, Russell. God bless you, sir. And thanks so hey, much. Hey, thank for your, you, man. And I, and I cannot so wait to see you. You know I'm going to hug your neck as soon as I see you on July yeah, we 22nd. Can, we gonna do, we're going to do a little hanging out, okay? Yes, sir. Sounds good. And you guys be <laughs> safe getting down here and cannot wait to see you, okay? All right. All right. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Russell Tompkins, Jr., ladies and gentlemen. 
What a wonderful man. Land.